Hey folks! Today we're going to talk about a new feature for DocuSign eSignature for Salesforce. But I'm not going to tell you about it. Today I am joined by Paige Rossi. Paige, why don't you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Hi, my name is Paige. Um, I'm a member of the developer content team here at DocuSign and also working on Salesforce integrations. So today I'm going to be talking about our newest sample app, My Finance, which uses our Salesforce integration. Ooh, I need to know all the things about this because I have been so lacking on my reading and brushing up on things. So, so you need to teach me everything you know, okay? I can definitely do that. Awesome. Okay, cool. Will, will we start sharing? Yes. Cool. Yeah, so My Finance, that's our newest Salesforce sample app. Um, we can just get into it. So it's kind of to start, you might be wondering what is a sample app um, without any context. Sample apps are kind of just what they sound like, sample applications. And so we develop these applications that demonstrate common workflows and use cases for various DocuSign APIs and industries. Um, and we have them all hosted online so that you can go try them out. You can check out the use cases, see what it looks like, but we also make their code available on GitHub so if you want to clone the repository, you can reuse the code in your own apps. And I can show you the full list of sample apps quickly. Yeah, so here's our DocuSign Developer Center. We have this page where all of our nice sample apps are made accessible to you. So we have a bunch of them. You can see this is the one we'll be looking at, My Finance. But we have them for all kinds of different industries. Healthcare is obviously a pretty hot industry these days, so that's a popular one. Um, we have some for mobile development, real estate, all different APIs. So you can find them all here if you wanna check out any that are not the Salesforce one that we're talking about today. Cool. So I also wanna talk a little bit about what is the technology behind My Finance. I mentioned that it's our first Salesforce sample app, um, but what, what else does that mean? So one of the major things is the Apex Toolkit, which is one of our DocuSign products. The Apex Toolkit is kind of similar to an SDK. It's a group of classes and methods in Apex that you can use to access DocuSign API functionality within your Salesforce apps. And so we have all, a lot more information about the Apex Toolkit on the Developer Center. We have an API reference and all that, but that's kind of where the DocuSign functionality comes into the sample app. And we also used an experience cloud site and built the front end with the experience builder within Salesforce, which is kind of a cool thing about Salesforce. It's very easy to drag and drop your components and do that kind of front end design. Clicks, not code. And exactly. for anyone watching, I will actually link the developer center and any useful links down below as well. Perfect. And then in terms of what DocuSign features, these are the features that are in the Apex Toolkit that the sample app showcases. So we'll be walking through it in a second. I can show you in more detail, but the major features are embedded signing. And so embedded signing is when you want to have the entire DocuSign experience in your app. And so instead of sending users an email and having them have to leave your app and go check their email to have their signature, they can just click the link from the app and the signing session will open right there. And you'll see that in the demo. And we also use DocuSign templates. So those are within the Salesforce account. Um, and then those templates have tabs in them. So we'll be filling out some information that gets populated in the tabs mm -hmm. in the document. Awesome. Okay, pen's ready. Okay, so time for a demo. Okay, so here we are in the app. This is my finance. You can see we have two use cases, which we'll get to in a second. Um, but the well, first how, thing you do- How did I get there? Oh, so this is linked from that page on the Developer Center. Awesome, cool. Which I showed before. So there should be two links there. One says try the app and that one will take you right here. Perfect, okay. Um, and so the first thing we need to do is log in. So this, I mentioned it's hosted with Experience Cloud. Um, we'll be logging into a community in Salesforce. So I'm going to create a new account. Um, and it's important to mention this is not a Salesforce account or a DocuSign developer account. So you may have both of those accounts. You can't use those to sign into the app. You'll have to create a new account for our community. And so you can do that by clicking sign up and then I'll make one myself. Okay, so I have received an email. I'll go 
get that email and it says, welcome to my finance. I'll click the link and I'm just making a password right now. Okay, so now I can go back to the login here and I'll sign in with my new account. And now I'm logged into the app. And so I'll start with our apply for a loan use case. This mm -hmm. is sort of a fictional banking scenario. So we're kind of pretending like we've signed into our bank and we wanna do one of these two transactions. So we'll start with applying for a loan. And one of the things with all of our sample apps, not just my finances, that you can see which features are used and there's a lot of behind the scenes information. So it is a fictitious app, but there's also a lot of resources here for developers who are kind of wondering what's going on behind the scenes. Cool. So, so once, you, here. once you apply for that loan, are you gonna wire transfer me the money? I'll work on it. <laughs> Yes. Depending on how much you enter in your desired loan amount. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'll just fill out this form. And this is like I mentioned, all of the information behind the scenes, what's happening in the Apex mm -hmm. Toolkit. There are actually links here to the API reference. So if you want to learn more, you can click any of those. Cool. So I'll fill out the form. Uh, movie phone number. The 555 number is never used in real life, so I like to use that one. And we'll request some large amount of money. Well, I do need a lot of chocolate, so. Yeah. And then we have the two currency options. I'll select US dollars, and then the date the loan is due. We'll give ourselves a few months. So you say two different currencies there. Is it, it's USD and which one? Uh, Euro. Euro. And if we wanted extra different currencies in there, is it possible to get them in? So you would have to do that in your own coding with okay. when you're making this app into your own, it'd be one of the options in this component, you could add options for the drop down there. Okay, cool. So that's coded into the back end of the application. I, suppose I should put my glasses on so I can actually read the screen properly. <laughs> Should I try to make it bigger? No, no, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, so all of this information that I filled out, we talked a little bit about tabs before. You'll see in a moment, I'm going to click continue. Mm -hmm. And now I'm being redirected to the embedded signing session. So this should load in a minute. Okay, so here we are. It's going to say I'm agreeing to use DocuSign on these documents. Mm -hmm. And then all of that information that I filled in the form is already populated in the tabs. So there are text tabs, some number tabs, a date tab, and then I'm going to sign here with the sign here tab and I'll adopt this signature. Cool. And when I'm finished, I'm redirected right back to the app. So now we're back in my finance. And we also have this status page where you can see what you've done. Um, maybe this will have to edit out because I don't see the no worries. thing there. So I'll just ignore that for now. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, that's the first use case, applying for a loan. Authorizing a wire transfer is very similar. I can go through that as well. Yes, please. I would like a lot of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this one is just a little bit more information. So I'll send some money to you, Lauren. I'll be the first sender. Thank you. We'll just put a fictional account number. Yep. And you, you can tell me how much you need. <laughs> Oh, I, I need about $50,000, please. Yes, it will let us transfer that large amount. Awesome. I need to fly and to Ireland to get my chocolate, you see. <laughs> Makes sense. So we'll do it immediately. Yeah. You got to get it ASAP. And we'll put you in here. And we'll just say Bank of America. Yeah. And the example bank routing number or receiving account number. Here's the routing number. Okay, and when we continue, we're taken to similar as before, we're taken to the embedded signing session. Cool. And all of our information is there. So we can see I'm sending it to Lauren here and I'll sign to authorize that. And when I finish, I'm taken back to the app. And I'll try the status page again to see what's happening there. So here we can see in our status page, the wire transfer application is there. Awesome. And you can always restart your session here as well. Um, and then we have logout button if you wanna try with a different account. Um, but 
one of the most important things here is the GitHub source. So I'll click that link. And that actually takes us to the code behind the scenes. So I won't go into too much detail in this now, but if you're curious, you can find this GitHub repository. It's linked on that Dev Center page and you can look into what exactly is going on behind the scenes. That's so cool. That's awesome. That's so simple. Yeah, very simple, very straightforward. Yeah, quick and easy and streamlined. I like it. Awesome. I think um, I didn't realize I was sharing the tab. I don't know if I should show the GitHub repository or it doesn't matter. The link is there. It's not much to show. So I can put it in the blurb below. Okay, perfect. So what kind of use cases? We're saying, you know, finance, my finance loans, wire transfers. Is there any other ones that we've seen customers do or we're hoping customers will use this for? Do you know? Yeah, so it doesn't have to be finance. It really can be anything. Anywhere that you're using a community in Salesforce, you can use this. And so communities are really useful when you have customers that you don't want to actually access your org. You kind of want to let them log into this front end site. Yes. Um, so it could be like a support center. It could be something for kind of customer help. That would be a really common one. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, anything where you kind of want to give them some access and everybody who accesses this community, they'll get the DocuSign sender permission, which is what you need to be able to sign these documents. Um, so that's really important, but they don't have any other kind of permissions to enter the org. So you don't have to worry about them signing in and accessing your data, anything Perfect. like that. Yep. Awesome. I like it. Cool. I might have to apply this to our customer community now. Yeah. Mm. It's a project I'm working on top secret, but yeah. Okay. That's cool. I love it. So the code talk to me more about this. Yeah. So I'll show you our GitHub repository. So here we have the sample app, my finance apex repository and just for reference, this DocuSign public repository or this public organization has many different repositories with all kinds of examples. You can check it out for other kinds of sample apps and examples, but this is where the My Finance code is. There's a little bit of information. Um, I'll point out the most important part of the code is in this classes folder. And mm -hmm. so in these controllers, this is where the embedded signing feature, which is kind of the heart of the sample app, that's where you can find that code and you can see the apex methods in here. Um, so I don't have to get too deep into it, but you can kind of see like we're getting a loan envelope. This is all of that information from the tabs. These are kind of anything with the DFSLE that's an apex method. So those kind of stand out. You can see that those are part of the apex toolkit. They're kind of all over. We have many different objects like documents and envelopes. Those are all relating to DocuSign. So this is kind of the main code behind it. And then we also have the components. If we go back to this folder, so the Lightning Web components also have sort of the front end that you see. So we have them for the different scenarios. Mm -hmm. And there's the JavaScript behind there that kind of shows you where you're filling out information. So if you wanted to make a change to that front end, this is what you would edit. And so adding also in make extra like uh, currencies and stuff. Exactly. That would be here. And then some other changes you can make in the experience builder itself. Okay, cool. I like it. Yeah. And can I just say 10 out of 10 for the clean coding? It looks Thank so you. good. For <laughs> yeah, someone who's not great. Try. Yeah, like I, I'm not great at reading coding, but this makes it so simple to read. So I love yeah, it. Yeah, and I, I think the Apex Toolkit is sort of to credit for that because those methods are very self-explanatory it makes a lot of sense you, you always know what you're looking at yeah definitely yeah that's why it was the one of the very first coding things i worked on mm -hmm. is apex toolkit i got a crash course in apex toolkit and thrown in the deep end so yeah that's i'm looking at now so trying and trying but also like you know i'm trying to do some javascript and it's like oh i'm trying to read it and it's like you know, I'm not great at seeing it and understanding and then I always forget my semicolon. Yeah. I always forget my that semicolon. Is, that gets me all the time. Every single time I try to code, it's like, oh, okay. So, yeah. I have like a post that says, don't forget your semicolon. Yeah. I keep when I'm, I'm writing code, so. Yeah, that's when you need those readable error messages too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, that's cool. I like it. Yeah. Awesome. 
And this is available right now for everyone. Yeah. This is available for everyone. You can go access it from the Dev Center and the link will be in this video as well. Wow. Thank you, Paige, for my crash course. I'm now going to go and put this into, I can put this into my dev org in, I have a dev community org that I'm working on a top secret project internally. Um, I can add that in right now. Yeah. Yeah. You can use all that code in there. So I'm excited to see what you come up with and what everyone else does yeah. integrating this into their applications. Awesome. Cool. Well, thank you very much for joining me. Give me this crash course. I'm excited to go play. So I'm going to go. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding. Somewhere. Ding. Um, and thank you very much, Paige. I really, really appreciate this crash course. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you.